Right. How bad is it? I'm not that over. Okay. I dropped uh, some uranium before. That allowed me to get this far. So... If I drop just a few of my adaptive frames, we'll, we'll be all right. It's okay. I'll drop just a couple. Just as many as I need. Oh, a bit of a waste, but now I can fast travel to my ship and we can like actually get out of here and leave. I'm gonna check out Earth. I'll check out Earth, maybe put down an outpost on Earth and uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's see what Earth's got. Probably not a whole lot of anything. But I kind of expect them to want you to check out Earth, so I'll go ahead and check out Earth. I am a little curious what they did with it after all. Oh hey, yeah, right. We did uh we did scale up a bit so I can get weightlifting up. Damn. Rank three get. Sprint for five thousand meters while at capacity. Mm. It'll be no problem though. We're at 185 mass now, possible. A bunch of space debris and junk everywhere. <laughs> Typical. I don't suppose I can loot any of this though. Taffa? Uh. Stupidly far away. Why can I track Taffa? What? What? I guess that's my current quest. I guess is what that's getting on about. Alright. So, Earth. Sandy Desert, Frozen Plains. Um. Yeah, you know what, actually? Yeah, I can... I can see this being Earth. Where do we want to go? Want to check out the Great Lakes? Let's check out the Great Lakes. It'll be great. <laughs> totally. This is great. Gravity's one, oxygen is zero. It's minus one degree here. Nice. Very nice. We got anything at all resource wise? Uh, water? Uh, lead. Do we like that? Do we want that? <laughs> Shrug. Natural, what is that? Natural explosion? <laughs> a couple natural sites here I'll take a look at. Why not? I'm really curious what that is. That sounds interesting. It's like a natural busted up feature maybe? Like a huge just like crack in the ground or so? Chlorine? We got... Some sort of silicon chlorine mix. Mercury, lead, water. I haven't seen mercury yet. Also, I haven't seen chlorine, though, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, it might not be too bad to, like, actually get, like, a proper thing set up, but probably wait until we get to, like, an alien world. I'm not sure if I can reclaim outposts very easily or how that works. Iron nickel alloy satellite was ejected from a distant planetesimal. Just a big crater thing is what this is. Storm crater. Just a bunch of rocks crashed into it and that's that. So like maybe some loose rocks that I can pick up here and there maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Trail of scattered debris. Ah. I see. Over here. Yeah. 
I'll grab it while I'm here. So like, I know what that symbol is now then. So when it comes time to check out proper alien planets with like, maybe actually useful and interesting uh, stuff on them, we kind of know what to expect when we're looking around on the POIs, you know? Like, you can put down a place, but there's not, it's just like, here's a huge sea of iron. Here's a huge sea of lead. And it's not like a convenient spot where you can get a little bit of everything, you know? It's just, here's this and here's that. And maybe you get lucky and you can get like one outpost harvesting up a few different materials. But I'm thinking, yeah, these like simpler basic planets, it's going to be a bit rough finding that. And out here I can put an outpost because it's like plain desert sands. Some chlorine that I could uh, harvest up there and... You know, I'll see what the natural thing is over here, and then we'll head out and then maybe do some main story, question mark? <laughs> it's been quite the sidetracked diversion, but that's right. I think that's kind of the best way to do games like this. Stay somewhat focused to an extent uh, until you start to actually need stuff and then get distracted doing side things, but always just like chip away at the main story a little bit more. And eventually, if it's done right, you'll sort of naturally naturally get distracted and sort of fade away from the story a little bit as you do your own things in like a really natural way though. So I'm sure at some point we'll just find ourselves just automatically being distracted and doing other stuff completely inadvertently. You know, and I will also say I quite like the way that you just choose anywhere on the planet to land. That kind of means that I might be checking out points of interest that other people hadn't found because they landed on just a different part of the planet and this just wasn't really around them at the time and thus they're really thorough with everything uh it's it's kind of kind of a neat thing i'm kind of curious like how much of this is kind of new to people watching covered crater huh rock piles which i think are like just storage containers basically of just Ooh, plutonium, hey, hi. Definitely a different one. I oh, mean, I'm just hanging out. Yeah, I'm curious, like, how much of this is, like... Other people didn't really see this because it's just, uh... They just landed on a different part of the planet and didn't explore where I happened to land. Terra. You need your own comic book, your own cartoon, your own theme song. We have got to make this happen. Appreciate the lift. And once we touch down on Aquila, we'll talk more. On Aquila? Oh. Next time. Well, okay, let's go to Aquila. <laughs> Uh, I might also possibly look into sh ship modifying a little bit to see if I can expand our cargo any. Otherwise, I might have to look into doing like a storage outpost that we just collect stuff in like a kind of a house ish. Kinda. Do we want to check out some infernal temperature on Mercury real quick, though? Let's check it out. Let's go for it. Let's land at the sun and check out the infernal temperature on Mercury. I want to. I want to turn around and see just this massive sun. Mm. No, it's not that massive. All right. Yeah, fine. Let's land anyway, real quick. This will be a fast one. Three hundred ninety-four degrees. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. It is toasty. Extreme ambient heat, planetary condition. Yeah. Are we okay? 
See protection depleted. Oh, are we just like actively melting right now? Hey, who dat? I said it was gonna be quick, but here we go. Regarding the suit being depleted from the solar radiation and the heat, I think that just means that if I was to touch anything that's like toxic gas, my suit doesn't have any more capacity to handle that at all. So I gotta be real careful with the uh, other hazards that my suit would otherwise be protecting me from. Transpo. Alright. Yo, level 9. Well, that's strange. You don't have, like, a ladder straight away. That's interesting. Hello? <sighs> oh, hey. Paisley Hopkins and their dog Grumble. Hi. Out here, you never know what'll hit you. Never hurts to be prepared. Your pet got a name? Sure does. His full name is Groneveld Hubble von Houten the Third, but I call him Grumble for short. Oh, yeah. He's a grumpy old lizard, so the name fits. But he's also family. Brings you two out here. Besides selling you stuff, I'm just taking him on a little walk so he can stretch out his little feet. He don't do so well on the ship. He may have six eyes, but he's blonder than a bat in a rock concert. Less is more, I guess. Anyway, as soon as he gets on board, he just starts running into things. Bumping crates, banging knees, pushing buttons. He uses his tongue to navigate more than anything, so if he licks your boot... He don't mean nothing by it. That's just his way of getting from A to B. Okay. Where'd you get it? He was Ma's pet. She found him back when he was still yoking the egg. Saved him from poachers, pardon the pun. But Ma didn't stop there. She hatched him, fed him, and raised him from a wee little babe to the big grumpy boy he is now. When she passed, she left me two things. Her ship and her pet. So long as I have him by my side, I feel like she's right there with me. <laughs> okay, what you got? For you, only the best. Out. Coachman, a knife and two pistols. Uh, actually, ammo. I I could I could use some ammo maybe. This is using the CLL shells, which I still got an okay amount of. I would really be needing 6.5 millimeter. Whoops, if you've got it. You fixing to buy anything? CT? I think so. I'm gonna say yeah. 4,000 bucks. <gasps> Did that do it? Yeah, 292 now. Okay, good. I keep, like, wanting to use that gun, but then I don't really have much ammo for it because it, it kind of drains all the ammo so quickly. Man, well, that's a cool ship you got. I'm, I'm jealous. You even got, like, additional mounting points on the side for, God, who knows, what cargo even, maybe. Jeez. Okay, so there we can... We can do whatever. Where was I before that it didn't... The summer... Weird tracking and all. Okay, well, ugh, jeez. Oh, Let me then... We'll still do whatever's thing, I think. Let me see if I can up the cargo of the ship, though, because we are actually, like, almost at... Almost at cap. Need some work done? I'm sure you can find something you like. This dude's got some different ships, I think. Eight different ones, the Rambler being the first. Whoa, Galileo. That's a pricey one. Jeez. Sparrow, that's a small little guy. Overall cost of 68,000. 
a responder 62,000 gladius 72,000 the fear 98,000 ah, the econo hall 90,000 ah, yeah I'm almost halfway there and the shield breaker 265,443 are you kidding me that's ridiculous man 54,000 even for just like your basic thing what the heck all right back out uh wait i'm sure you can find something you like what have you got to sell and then i go to sell Crimson Fleet Ghost. Like, should I? How much did this cost to register? 4,850 for a Crimson Fleet Goat. Like, you'd think I can modify this to be <laughs> at all worthwhile. <sighs> ah, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna modify the front here. Man, this ship is really rough to work with. <laughs> there is, like, not a whole lot that you can change with it without needing to change this. Which then means that you're too heavy, so you gotta change that. Which means that this needs to be fixed, and that needs to be fixed, and that needs to be changed then. And it's just, it's always something with this. But, I've done a couple modifications at least. One of them is not cargo, unfortunately. However, I did change the core bit of this into a galactic workshop instead of just a... Uh, whatever. It's got two passenger slots. I don't know if that's cool or not. Because the other thing that it had was... Uh, Let's see, was it... It was the Frontier, which also has two passenger slots. But there's some stuff that's got, like... Four crew stations? I don't know, like... Should I go for a... Crew station instead? Like, I'm not really sure what that does. But we had this before, which is two passenger slots, so... I think we're good to go. I changed out the lasers upgraded them in a massive way. The other lasers were like three and four whole damage with three max power. These are 13, 13 with significantly more range. Their fire rate down from six to like three. So it's like half as fast. But the damage for also against the hold is good enough that it's like, pff, I don't really care too much. So we can do that to bash down the shield significantly faster. We still have the missiles. I did get rid of the big kinetic cannon thing though just for a little bit of sake of uh, the equipment power. Like, I can't power... I'm, f I'm four notches short, so, like, shields are going to have to be down a little bit and engines down a little bit or something just to make it work, because the equip power is everything here, not including gravity. Like, assuming that you have this turned off, I need 18 power to have everything full. So four notches got to go somewhere, which... Mm, it's kind of whatever. Uh... I th think that's it. Cargo-wise, yeah, not a whole lot I can really do for it, unfortunately. Not with this ship, at least. But with changing over the Galactic Workshop thing to to this, maybe that's... Maybe that's cool, because I don't think the rest of these give... much else. Computer Core gives a crew station. That gives the four... Infirmary, Living Quarters, Science Lab, Workshop, you know... I don't know. So we'll go for workshop and see what that does for me, I guess. Um, save me from having to go home all the time, I suppose. And as far as cargo stuff goes, you might just have to deposit stuff or use stuff as time goes on. Because, like, there's really... There's really not a lot I can do about it. Because, like, I can't have the engines much higher because I gotta make sure that we connect okay with the docker. Otherwise, it complains about that. We're, like at the mobility warning limit if i put on any like proper cargo containers our mobility plummets down to like 40 or 50 because i need stronger engines but the stronger engines uh, are super expensive for one but are also super heavy and I need a better reactor to power them because uh, there's something about like uh, reactor class do it it's always something with the ship so we're gonna go for the small changes at five thousand bucks we're gonna see how that goes like check just complaining about the weapon assignment but i'm pretty sure that's weapon two which is empty there's nothing else i can do about it so it is what it is all items will be moved to the cargo hold what 
Which items? <laughs> Which items where? Who? <laughs> so we could upgrade the reactor a little bit, cost another 7,800 bucks to do so. But it gives us a li it means that I just have to take off like a notch of shield and engines or something. And it's fine. We could, we could try that. And I think replacing the 270L that it's got. Um, since this is like the bulk of our damage now. We could go with the CE09 4000 range on that. Oh, this is also 4000 range. Okay. Because that goes pretty well with our lasers being like 3000 or whatever. Yeah, alright, I guess that's good. Alright. Okay. Or can I go if I need more crew for my ship? Yeah, sure, I'll bite. I would try to viewport. They'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Good. I was in there doing that for so long, I've actually, like, kind of completely forgotten what else I wanted to do here. I think there was something else. Destroy some specter dork. Um. Oh my god, we could, we could literally be a taxi. We can actually taxi people. Oh my god, I need passenger space, though. <sighs> oh, man. Survey Altair 2 in Altair. Sure, why not? I guess. Why not? Why not? There's no time limit. Screw it. It's for 8,000 bucks. Jeez. Man, some of these missions I'll probably just do like off camera a bit here and there just to like, just to do stuff. It sounds great. You just need ships for it. Maybe I take the, um, that pirate ship that I had gotten and then like just massacre it. <laughs> Effectively build my own ship from scratch and just convert it into this like, hi, just like a big uh, cardboard box with jet engines strapped to it. Oh yeah, that is what I was expecting. Generally, no research station, but there is a research module thing that I could get, but. Kind of cool to be able to have this now. It's not like super duper pertinent. It only cost a few thousand just to check and see to make sure this is actually what I thought it was. How you doing, sweet pea? I'm doing great. Well, but okay. a lot of our weight capacity is coming from the uh, well, not capacity. A lot of our our weight generally is coming from just the raw resources that we've got. But what I might do is use the industrial workbench and convert all that raw stuff into like versatile framework and such just to have it on hand for if I need it directly and then store it inside of an outpost. So like if the outpost needs to be expanded, we got the stuff on there. Yeah, like 38 raw aluminium, half a weight each. This, this stuff gets expensive. A couple com relays, like I don't, do I need those? I don't know, drilling rigs? I grab those. I don't know if I need those either. But this is the type of stuff where I think I could see storing inside, probably not my house, but definitely outposts around. Let's go to my house, see about dressing it up a little bit with these random odds and ends that I'm picking up and see if I like that or not and see if I need to hang on to that stuff all the time always. I've made a great discovery. Check this out. <sighs> Eh. Yeah. Shift. You just tap shift and it changes the axis. Oh, it's incredible. It's like way easier to like manipulate things this way. It's just a little bit confusing keeping track of which direction you're currently going and versus where you're meant to be going. That, that's it. That's all. That's my massive discovery. I'm working on things. <sighs> Well, it takes a while, but, uh, oh, hey, I can open this. Yo, free pitcher. Huh. 
It takes a while, but it's doable. I got a couple odds and ends thrown around. We'll see how it does with repeated visits. If things kind of sort of ish stay where they're meant to be. I have some that that's just straight up floating. I have some fairly significant doubts, though. Uh, we'll see. I'm not going to spend all my time doing it just yet because there's not a lot of reason if it's going to just, uh, you know, freak out and just like throw things around everywhere. Man, this place is I do wish it was like not quite so big at the start. Like, holy crap, this place is massive. What a luxury home. I was really expecting like a little teeny tiny apartment. Just like literally a shack in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, a totally safe environment on a on a peaceful planet because it's just some desert. <laughs> Nothing lives there. <laughs> Can I like just destroy this outpost? Huh. Eh. Cause this like super isn't my outpost. Yeah, this one, this is the one. 108 Iridium? Ooh, you've been busy. Is that, uh, is that full then? Is that what that's saying? Holy crud. Okay. Well, good job. Well done. Let's outpost. Yeah, tab. I want just simple. F oh, yeah, I learned how to do some of the stuff, didn't I? I totally forgot. Operating costs, ISO center magnet and tau grade rheostat and five power produces calm really. Okay. Oh, I changed what it. Oh, I see. Produces zero wire, adaptive frame. Austenitic manifold, but then needs reactive gauges. Reactive gauges I can make with copper aluminium. Yeah, okay. What can we make with iridium? Just a million iridium. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, alright. We'll do a bit of an outposty actual like living area thing. I think. Oh. Oh, that's handy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, just, uh... It's fairly flat here, so... That's okay. And then hab round. But with the glass. It's kind of like, why bother having a house when I can just, like, have an outpost and I just live at the outpost. But. <laughs> whatever. Just whatever. You know, worst case, we foreclose on the house. Who really cares? I don't know if my house has a build limit, though. I wasn't paying that much attention. We could do a, a basic turret here just to keep it uh, keep it clean. Production rate of inorganic resources by 10%. Production rate of organic resources. The engineering bot. Production rate of manufactured items. Well. Well. Ain't that cool. I can have up to three of them. Storage box. Storage crate, but I need structural things for it, huh? Don't have anything for structural, like at all? What? Yeah, struct haiku. structural is nothing we make. I we have to harvest it from, um... A haiku, huh? Would you... Did you two? Did you two stop? Okay. Stop. It's called. Stop all of this. Uh. 
Because it should be pulling off of... It's all fiber if you're looking for structure. It should automatically be pulling off of my ship, but just to confirm. Different types of sealants, sedative. Yeah, nothing for structural. So we got to find some structural... Uh, either off of uh, some creature here or some plant here. Which I'm not sure if I can pull up the fauna and flora information that I've discovered or... Small warehouse. Oh yeah, manufactured goods, right. Um, actually, that's... Perfectly fine. That's that's actually what I'm after. Believe it or not, 12%. Are you 12% already? What? Because then I can put that stuff into you. Ooh, you really don't fit a lot. Okay, could I make a... Can I make a big one? No? Can I transfer from the frontier? Perfect. Resources. Uh... Everything you'll let me. Okay, and that's that. But hey, that's like, kind of perfect. That's just about exactly what I was after. Because I could then get just like a bunch of salads, containers and everything and just, yeah. I suppose. Hmm. Okay, something to dwell upon. But I needed more titanium and such anyway for that, so... That'd be a matter of finding a system that's got titanium, or rather finding a planet or a moon that's got titanium. And then, uh, going from that. Jeez, oh, man, what a huge distraction all this has been, huh? Yeah, there's no convenient titanium anywhere here. Some places for aluminium, but that won't bother unless there's also aluminium. Or, uh, titanium, rather. So, let's... Back... To... Uh... Alpha Centauri to the eye, because that was technically the first one that I wanted to do initially, before I thought it forced me into uh, United Colony space. some other Maintain thing. Course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Darn right. That's Jemison. That's the eye. So there's that. Uh, you have any titanium here by chance? <laughs> eh? 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 Because I would like to have that titanium and aluminium and then I can build a bunch more of those containers and I don't have to worry about it anymore. No such luck. This is Constellation Star Station LO868. Welcome aboard. Oh, nice. I am on my way. survived your most recent sleep cycle thanks I guess what a weird thing to say so none of this is stealing should I be concerned crew quarters facilities scanning control Oh yeah, is my inventory okay? Yeah, inventory's fine. And the frontier. Yeah, cargo's generally alright. Okay, good. Uh, Vladimir? Hold on. Let's track. Main. Yeah, talk to Vladimir. Is that you? Are you the right Vladimir? Yeah, okay, perfect. Hi. We got a rook on deck. 
Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Well, they're not all together right now, actually. What's with me being so confused? Like, what? <laughs> I know exactly what he's talking about. What the heck? <laughs> uh, it happens to me, too. I get lost in something and lose time. I mean, the past, like, hours. <laughs> Always preferred working alone, even around people I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Now, this station... The Eye. Rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Could be nothing. Wouldn't be tipping your ear if I thought it was a waste of time. Giving you the best of what's available. No more. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andreja and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andreja... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. Hmm, all right. I'll keep an eye out. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. <laughs> Happy hunting, straight face. Hmm. <laughs> Retired from the Crimson Fleet. Didn't know that happened. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tail to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but... Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there... Turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Okay. But uh, I guess we're done, done too. Okay. So we can visit his house now, I mean. Jeez, there's no shortage of just stuff to do in this, eh? It's good though. It's a good problem to have. <laughs> it's a bunch of coffee and weights everywhere. Hey, alright, man. Peak performance. Plus five kilograms carry capacity. Fantastic. So now what, 185? 190. Good. Storage. We have a research lab. And space suit bench. I don't think I have anything else I can research, can I? It's been a little bit since I looked. I don't think I've gotten a whole, a whole lot. Performance enhancement. Mm. And cooking. Mm. Decoration. Mm. I guess we can do it though. It's fine. I don't have the structural, but maybe we get lucky. Yeah, okay, cool. Just finished them all off in one go. Good deal. There's also outpost defense hiding away down there. It's a lot of stuff, but we also need outpost engineering for the majority of that stuff. Uh, helmet mod. Oh, yeah, helmet mods. I don't have the polymer. Last. Helmet mods, too, probably requires. Uh, probably a skill, anyway. Okay, so not really much we can do there. We're mostly waiting on skills for a lot of that, which. I do have a point, actually. I leveled up. Oh, I'm not sure how long ago. 
scavenging, still waiting on that. Persuasion. Still waiting on getting another speech challenge, though I suspect we'll be getting another one pretty soon. Where would the... Yeah, I'll post engineering. Yeah, we gotta work on some of this stuff. There's the spacesuit design. Yeah, jeez. Alright, let's go with geology. Boom. I'm gonna be a miner. I'm gonna mine into retirement. It's gonna be great. You're gonna be like, Krug, how'd you get so much money? Boy, let me tell you. Doesn't tell you. Jesus, I don't know what this stuff is. It's not stealing to take it and it feels so weird. Like, I guess he's on my team, but like, not my team. We just work for the same people. I'm gonna leave his fridge open. The lint in your oh. pocket. <laughs> Everybody get away from me. I'm stuck. Ugh. 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 Dad and I will be riding passenger with you. The most boring job in space travel. You like traveling? It's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Not even once. Same boring old planet for like years. She didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? <sighs> what an idiot. Jeez. Uh, what do you do on board? I read. I look around the ship, but no touching. Dad lets me do all sorts of stuff on his ship. But he said I have to be respectful on your ship. But I could try to fix things if you ask. Hint, hint. You can ask. I promise I'll be good. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. Bye. Maybe. Maybe. So that's that. I wanted to do this one first because I was like... Well, initially it was right outside the planet, so it was like right there, it would take no time at all. But, uh, well, you know, <sighs> things happened. Why is scan unavailable for you? Why is that? If I like set course to it, oh, we're docked. Well, an undock. It's got this and this material on it, but I can't do a proper scan to see exactly where this stuff is because blah. Yeah, okay. So then scan and then I can see exactly where the stuff is. There's all the helium and there's all the aluminium. A load of it. Just land here and I guess I'll grab some since I'm here. I still need the titanium though, so... It doesn't really do much just having this. Maybe there's some other stuff that I could make that I need this for. I don't know. I'm not gonna set up an outpost though, I think. Though for titanium I might, since it seems like not a lot of places have that. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. It should be good to see me. Why is it only pleasant? What's wrong with you? Who dat? Who dat? Who dat? Ooh, it's got big and it's a thresher. What's a thresher? Hello? Is anyone in here? Locked. All right. You just landed, though. So, if I lockpick into you, then who gets upset? There's their cargo hold. Now that I know to look for this screen. 
freaking thing. I mean, I can just... I can just straight up take the sh Oh, there they are. There's a person. Who is this? Who, who owns this? Nobody saw me take it, I think. I don't think I'm... In trouble. Supply train? I mean, like, I don't think I steal a ship, though. But, uh... It's really cool to know that, like, you, you kind of can. It's not too difficult doing that. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> That's my ship. Was your ship. It should still be registered to you, though, so I shouldn't be able to, like, re-register it to me. And maybe even some guards would be like, hey, and stuff. So if I go to Jemison and I land this at... Uh, New Atlantis. I checked the cargo. There seemed to be not much there, so I don't think we're stealing a ship and coming in with illegal goods. The ship itself is illegal, though. You should see some of the ships we get landing here. Like their owners, for decorating their ships with heat leech nests would be a nice touch. Anything I can help you with? I mean, uh, no. Uh, yes, actually. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always vying. Kiosk right here for you. View and modify sure. my ships. The Thresher. 830 cargo. Value 10,000. You're registered. Like, what? <laughs> that's it, that's all? It's as easy as that. Because, like... I could rip those off and put on the proper cargo ones, and then it's like definitely my ship. And quick load, because we're not stealing a ship. I'm not I'm not being a thiefy type. Like I said, we're doing a little bit of roleplay here, you know. I wanna I wanna mine and make my payments. I just wanna retire after a a long life duty in XCOM. So you I saw yeah. Over here. I'm pretty sure you're the owner. You must be the owner. I don't know what else you're doing if you're not. Just some dude walking around. I don't know. But I would, I think, like hey. to see about... Oh, just colonist. Pardon. But you wouldn't believe it, but you and I... Look kind of similar. Okay. I, I would, though, um... I was gonna say... I wouldn't mind taking from pirates. I don't think I can sell ships, though. If I can, I don't know how. About the best I could do is just sell off all of the parts and make it just some crap thing and then just abandon it somewhere, I guess. I don't know how to, like, manage my ship fleet. If there's much you can do for it. There's gotta be a way to sell it. Ooh. Ooh, 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 what's that structure? I'm gonna go there, it's got a skull on it. I'm distracted again. We'll do the main story at some point, I swear. Just wanna explore and learn stuff and see what all is out there. 